Hello everyone, so you might have guessed by the title bit what I put in just before I started this video that today's video is going to be 50 questions about me which I have never answered. I haven't particularly picked these questions myself, I've got them off a website which I'll tell you the website in a minute. Um, before I start I'd like to say I am filming on my iPad today because I recently got an iPad 3 yesterday. So please let me know if you prefer the quality on my iPad 3 or on my iPhone 6 Plus. So please let me know which one you prefer and then if you prefer it on here I'll be doing videos on here from now on. But if you prefer it on my phone then I'll carry on doing videos on my phone. So let's get this on a roll. So I got the questions from a website called itsleander.net. I think it's kind of a blog website. I just typed in 50 questions I've never answered or I've never been asked. And then this is the first one which I thought was really good and I looked for a load of them. So I picked this one. So some of the questions might be a bit weird but we're going to just go with it and go with the flow and just see what we come up with. So the first question is, what's your favourite candle scent? So, I don't really use candles that much. I don't really buy them. I don't really light them. I think I've only ever owned one or two candles. But for me, when other people talk about candles, or if I go into someone's house and they've got a lit candle, or I go into a shop and they've got like candle scents, I like the Christmassy scents because as soon as you smell that scent, you're like, yes, it's nearly Christmas. It's nearly Christmas. I can finally start saying it's nearly Christmas. So, yeah, I prefer candles, to, like Christmas ca candle scents. Christmas scents for candles, that's what I was trying to say. So, yeah, Christmas scents. I think Christmas scents are like, um, I don't know, you can get gingerbread scented, you can get like pumpkin spice like scented. I know that's a flavour of drink as well, but you can get that scented as well. So, yeah, that's my favourite scent. Which female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Um, I'm going to say Anna Kendrick because she has an amazing voice and she's also an amazing actress. She's in one of my favourite films ever which is Pitch Perfect, Pitch Perfect and she's also in another film what I like called Trolls and if you haven't watched them two films really recommend you watching them because they are amazing and yeah she's got a really... <laughs> really really nice voice she can sing really really well she's a brilliant actress and if you guys know me i want to become a singer or an actress so she would probably be the perfect female celebrity to be my sister what male celebrity do you wish was your brother no nah, i don't really know because um I don't really follow a lot of male celebrities. I normally go for the female celebrities because obviously I, am, I might be a bit sexist here, but I am female and I feel like female people follow female celebrities more unless they've got a crush on a male celebrity and I haven't really got crushes on any male celebrities. But if I had to pick one, then I would say Alfie Days because he kind of is a celebrity because he's a famous YouTuber and obviously because he does YouTube videos, I do YouTube videos. He does really good YouTube videos, let's face it, man, not too good. So I'd pick him to be my celebrity brother because he's really good at doing YouTube videos and he could give me some tips and tricks. Next question is, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Um, I don't know. I'd like to think I'd get married before I'm 40. So basically like 20s, 30s. But yeah, I would like to get married before I'm 40, but obviously if I don't, then it's not going to be the end of the world. Do you know anyone who keeps things from time and time again? So, I think this question means if they keep, like, an item, like, I don't know, a letter or a piece of paper and they don't want to get rid of it. I think that's what it means. Um, I don't know. I think I'm kind of one of them people myself. I'll keep certain things, like, say, if I have my school books from like reception I have some of them um, but I don't have all of them so I've kept some of them Um I think my nonna might be one because I mean she doesn't know more but she used to have loads and loads of letters which she like used to never throw away because I think she just wanted to keep them so I don't really know really I mean I could think that I'm one but I keep certain things 
not certain things like say if like drawings I'll chuck them away or like rough notes I'll chuck them away but say if it's like books or notebooks or school books from like when I was little or say if I go on holiday and I have like I win some on these two P machines I often keep them because they're just a memory of holiday yeah next question can you do the splits no I can't I'm not that athletic I'm not bendy I'm not I can't do the splits whatsoever I tried to do the splits loads and loads of times when I was little cannot do them to save my life next question how old were you when you learned to ride a bike um, I don't really know. I think it was around, I was six, seven or eight years old when I learned to ride a bike. I know it was kind of a late age, but not too late, because I know I learned to ride one when I was in junior school. I might have been in the primary school or sort of junior school, I'm not really sure. But I know it took me a long, long while to ride a bike because I had those stabilisers and I could ride one, but then I was too scared to take the stabilisers off, so it took me ages to ride a bike. But now obviously I can ride a bike and it's fine. How many oceans have you swam in? I told you these questions would be a bit weird for me. Um, I haven't swam in any oceans. I don't really know how to swim. I mean, I learned how to swim when I was in year four in, in, in junior school but that was only like a few lessons I remember we used to go like I think it was every week or every other week and I could swim a bit but I was always in like the beginners bit so I couldn't really know how to swim so yeah I don't really know how to swim so I haven't swum in any oceans before how many countries have you been to this is another one where I haven't really been to any other countries than the country I live in but I would like to go like traveling when I'm older but also it's the fear of flying on a plane that's one of my fears like I really want to do it but then I'm scared of doing it if you know what I mean so who knows I might go to different countries one day um is anyone in your family in the army nope no one in my family is in the army that I know of I mean I don't really see my real dad's side so I don't know of anyone is in the family, is in the army there, but I don't think they are, because obviously I never see my dad's side, but from my mum's side and my stepdad's side, I really don't think anyone's in the army that I know of, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't know. Um, what would you name your daughter if you had one? Now, everyone who knows me would know what I'm about to say, because this name has been, like, I said, this is going to be my daughter's name for ages ever since I was a little girl and that would be the name Olivia I don't know why I love the name Olivia it's always one of those names that when you was a child like really young if you'd be with your friends and they'd be like oh what would you like to be called if you wasn't called this and I'd be like oh I would always say Olivia and I don't know I think if I had a daughter that would definitely be the name Olivia and um, what would you name your son if you had one Hmm, now this one's a bit too... Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about if I had a son because I always think if I had a kid, I would have a daughter and it, like I would name her Olivia. But obviously if I have a kid, it could be a boy as well and I could have a son. I don't know. I think I kind of like the name Harry. Mm, I'm not really too sure though. Like Harry or... Um, I don't really know any of the boys' names what I really, really like. But Harry's the one that stands out in there. Um, next question is what's the worst grade you got on a test? Well, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, all my grades are not that good. I mean, they're not really what you'd call top grades, middle grades, more in the low grades. <coughs> Sorry, but I think the worst grade I ever got got on a test would have to be my maths test like one of my maths tests because I am terrible at maths I can do the basic maths but it's the more difficult maths I struggle with and obviously now I'm in year 10 and well I just finished year 10 and about to go into year 11 my worst grade on a test in maths would have to be I think I got two three out of like 
80 or something like that. I mean, I know when I did my mocks like recently for my mock GCSEs, I got 14, I think. I think I got 14 out of 80 and 16 out of 80, which is not like it is really bad, but for me, it's not the worst I've got in maths. Like, like I just said, I got like 2 out of 80 once, so that would must have been my worst grade. What was your favourite TV show when you were little? When I was little, I used to love watching a show called Charlie and Lola. That would have been my all-time favourite show. I had all the DVDs to it. I had all the books to it. I literally loved that show so much. I don't even know why, but yeah, that was my favourite TV show when I was little. What did you dress up as on Halloween? Well, I dressed up as quite a lot of things on Halloween. But I think the last Halloween, I don't know if I went to anything else Halloween. The last Halloween I can remember, no I didn't go to anything last Halloween because that was when I was in hospital. But the Halloween before that I remember I went as a dead school girl and I went with my friends. I think I went with my friends trick or treating. But mostly when I when um, I get dressed up Halloween, which I don't normally do, but mostly when I do, I normally dress up as a cat or like that kind of thing because I don't really like the whole scary bit of it because it like it really frightens me that someone's gonna come and scare you and that's just one of my fears so I do like the cute side of it and like a cat or something like that so yeah I'm gonna dress up as a cat have you read any of the Harry Potter Hunger Games or Twilight series and um, I've not read them but I've seen the films I'm not going to lie, people are probably going to kill me for this, but Harry Potter, I used to love Harry Potter, but now I find it quite boring. Twilight series, it's in the middle. Hunger Games, not read the book, not seen any of the films. I don't even know if there's any films. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? Um, I don't really know, because... Because I'm British, like I don't think that I have an accent, but obviously to other people they think that we have an accent and I don't want to have the accent what American people stereotype the British accent is because it's not but I don't know I don't really see different accents in like British people and American people I mean I know there's a slight difference but not a really like really big difference if you know what I mean like for mostly British and Australian people there is a big difference because you can totally like tell they're Australian but mm, I, don't, I don't know on that one. Next question. Did your mother go to college? I want to say yes. Is it bad that I don't know? I, I, think, I think she did. But I'm not 100%. Um, are your grandparents still married? Um, my stepdad's side are married and my mum's side aren't married. Have you ever taken karate lessons? No, never taken karate lessons, never want to take karate lessons, all because of the thing again, fear, fear of getting hurt, no, just don't want it. What's the first amusement park you've been to? Um, I don't really go to that many amusement parks, the only time I go to amusement parks is when I'm on holiday, and they're just like the normal fairgrounds that you'd go to, like Skegness Fairground, and I I think I went to one when I went to Devon. I'm not really too sure. I think I did, but I didn't go on any rides. So yeah, I don't really go to amusements quite that much. What language besides your normal language would you like to be fluent in? Um, I don't know. I mean, I tried to learn French when I was in school, but like start of school, but I pff, I couldn't get the hang of French. But I think I'd really like to learn Spanish. I don't know. I just really think that's a really nice language to learn. Do you spell the colour as grey as in G-R-E-Y or grey as in G-R-A-Y? I spell it G-R-E-Y. Is your father bold? No. Do you know triplets? No. I don't know any triplets. Actually, saying that, I know, I'm tell a lie. I think my mum's friend had triplets. I think. I can't remember if it was twins or triplets. I'm not really too sure. But I don't know them in person. But obviously, I know twins because my baby brothers are twins. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Don't know what The Notebook is. I've watched Titanic before. 
find it quite boring to be honest so I don't know because I've never watched a notebook. Have you had have you have you ever had Italian food? Yes, it's really nice. What's the name of your favourite restaurant? Um I don't know, I go to a lot of restaurants. I think I don't know, it depends if you're talking about restaurants here or restaurants on holiday. If it's restaurants here, I think my favourite ones so far would have to be the Golden Pheasant because it's really cheap and you can get really good meals out of it. But if it's restaurants on holiday, then I don't know. I really like this one, what we went to um, when I went to Skegness ages ago. It was called, oh, what was it called? I think it was called Babini's or something like that, but that was my favourite restaurant on holiday. Um, have you ever been to Olive Garden? No, don't know what Olive Garden is. Do you belong to any warehouse stores, i.e. Costco, BJ's and that lot? No, don't go to any of them. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I don't know, I've never asked them. I mean, I should really ask them because... I actually want to know that question, answer to that question. So when I do know the answer to the question, I'll let you know. If you have a nickname, what is it? <laughs> okay, my nicknames, I don't really have that many, but I have some of my best friends call me. Um, we all, all my best friends have nicknames, and this one, because I get called by my friend Kiria, I get called Lord Bethan, and that is basically because we was in geography one time, and the teacher mispronounced my name, so I was saying Bethany, she said Bethan, and then Kiria got it stuck in her head that Bethan was a posh name, which I kind of think it is. And yeah, she that was basically my nickname, Lord Bethan. Um, who's your favourite person in the world? Oh dear God, this question is probably going to get me kind of into trouble. But I don't know really. I have loads of favourite persons. I'll say my mom is one of my most favourite persons, but then... My best friend Kim is one of my most favourite persons. But I don't know. Very hard to pick. I can't pick a favourite. Um, would you rather live in the rural area or in the suburbs? I don't really mind, to be honest. Can you whistle? I can and I can't. I can if I put my mind to it, but then if it just like on the random, on the spot, like, say if you told me to whistle now, I won't be able to, but... If I put my mind to it, it can. Do you sleep with a nightlight? No, don't know more. I used to when I was little though. Do you eat breakfast every morning? Right, I eat breakfast if I have time in the mornings. Like today is an exception because I was in bed and I didn't eat breakfast but then I didn't really want breakfast. But normally on the summer holidays like it is now, I would eat breakfast because I'll have time. Whereas when I'm on my, like school days, I don't have time in the mornings because I just get up and I get dressed and then I have to leave. So I don't have time when I go to school. Um, do you take any pills or medication daily? Now, I don't really want to say this because I feel like that's kind of private life. So I don't really want to say that or if I've taken any medication in the past so I'm just going to skip that question. Um, do you have any medical conditions? Nope. How many times have you been to the hospital? Well, <laughs> loads of times I can't put a number to it but I've been to hospital a number of times, as you know from my videos, like I've said before, I've been to uh, Lesson Uni, which was a higher hospital, and I've been to like the normal Royal Derby Hospital for loads of time because of how I was feeling or if I was feeling suicidal, but I've been to the hospital for medical reasons, like health problems, not that many times to be honest. I know I went once because I had to have teeth taken out, and I know I went once because I thought I had appendicitis, but I didn't. But yeah, I've been a load, a load of times. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Not the whole film. <laughs> Feels like I'm going to kill me for this, but I haven't seen the whole film of Finding Nemo. find it quite boring, to be honest. So, yeah, not seen the whole film. Where do you buy your jeans? <laughs> 
not from big brand store names. I basically buy all my clothes from either Primark or any shop called Peep and Co. But yeah, my jeans are from Primark. And they are really, really good jeans. What's the last compliment you got? The last compliment I got was from one of my family members, I can't remember who, but they said that I was a really good singer. So yeah, that was the last compliment I got. Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Right, I do sometimes and I don't sometimes. But I normally remember the really, really weird ones which I wanted to share but I don't think I want to share now because then it's going to be the talk of the town or the talk of my friendship group for like at least a week so I don't want to mention it. What flavour tea do you enjoy? I don't really drink tea so I can't answer that one. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Um, I don't own quite a I own my school pair of my school shoes. I think I own a couple pairs of trainers and my boots. So yeah, only about three, four pairs. Um, what religion do you have? I don't really believe in any religion. I don't really know why. I just I just don't believe in any religion. I mean, my nana I think is Catholic, but. I go to church for a few times, but not all the time, so I don't really have a religion. Last two questions. How old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? Um, I think I was about 9, 10. I can't remember what age I was, but I think it was around 9, 10 age. And the last um, question. Do you have a Tumblr account? I do have a Tumblr account and if you would like to follow my Tumblr account then I will put it down below for you guys but I've only just recently started it, I started it a few days ago so I will put that down below if you would like to follow it then please follow it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and my phone just gone off and make sure to comment down below if you like the quality on my phone better, if you like the quality on my iPad better. And yeah, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!